Is virtual Nichum Avelim considered fulfilling the mitzvah to its fullest? Regarding Nichum Avelim, when you can't physically come to the place, to the house where they're sitting, Shiva. It's very important to understand that the idea of Nichum Avelim has two details to it. It has two parts to it. Part number one is to comfort the people sitting Shiva, to come, to talk to them, to be with them, to share the feelings with them, to share the stories that you remember, the memories that you have from the one that, one that passed away. That's one thing that has to do with Nichum Avelim. The second thing that has to do with Nichum Avelim is Anachas Ruach, a comfort for the Neshama of the one that passed away, especially if you're Menachem Oval in the place, in the house, where the actual person passed away, it's brought down in Kabbalah, brought down in the Sefer Mavar Yaboik, that the Neshama, the Neshama, the first week, is very, very confused. It doesn't really know where it belongs. It belongs in the Beis Sachayim, next to the physical body, or does it belong in the house where it used to live, or among the relatives, the direct relatives. And when people come and comfort the Avelim, there's also a big nachasruach, a big comfort for the neshama. That's why it's brought down in Rambam, in Hilchas Avelus, that somebody that passes away, Le'elinu, and doesn't have any relatives, you should have 10 people sitting shiva, or sitting like shiva, in the house where he passed away or where he used to live and learn Torah. Because as we said, that's an Achas Ruach for the Neshama. So based on the above, obviously, if you can't physically come, you can't do the second part of comforting the Neshama. But the first part, if you can't come, you for sure could accomplish by coming and, or but not coming, but by comforting the Avelim. It could be through a phone call, it could be through a text, it could be through a letter or through an email. Another very interesting detail is the fact that even if you come and you are Menachem Oval, you come to comfort the people sitting in Shiva and you didn't say anything, you still accomplished and achieved the mitzvah of Nichom Aveli. So therefore, you don't actually have to talk by Nichom Aveli. Even writing a letter could for sure be good. So just to put it all together, as we said, Nichum Avelim is has two sides to it. One is to comfort the Neshama in the place where the person lived or where he passed away or where his relatives are. That you can't accomplish by not coming physically. But yet, comforting the Avelim, even if you physically don't come, just by sending a letter, a text, a phone call or an email, you for sure do the mitzvah of Nichum Avelim. And one last point. I remember hearing quite a few times from Rabbi Ashkenazi Olav Shalom, the Rabbi of Kfar Chabad, said that whenever you come across a Shaila when it comes to Dinim of Avelus, sometimes there are details in these Dinim that have to do with COVID Hamas, has to do with honoring and respecting whoever passed away. And sometimes it has to do that same Shaila also with Kovid Achayim. For an example, when it comes to burial, some people would like to bury as fast as possible because that's Kovid Ames to bury as fast as possible. But yet, Kovid Achayim is allowing relatives to come. So he said, half as a joke, but there's a real deep truth in that, that whenever it comes between Kovid Ames and Kovid Achayim, he always prefers the Kovid Achayim. And the reason he said was because in the end, the Chayim are the ones that he has to continue living among them and with them, and that's why he usually chooses to pass it on that side. That was a joke side of it. But really deep inside, whenever it comes to somebody that passed away, his neshama was already in Gan Eden. And by us doing mitzvahs and by us doing teira in the merit in the schus and the neshama, the neshama has an aliyah. But yet, you have to care a lot about the chaim, about the ones that stay together, together with us. That's why, Whenever it comes to a point that going and be Menachem Ovel, Kachas V'Sholem, in danger in any ways, the Chaim or anybody that's around them, then obviously you have to prefer the idea of the Chaim, 
the idea of the ones that stayed behind, the idea of preferring uvachar to b'chayim, the idea of nishmatem ma'odin of sheisichem, and for sure prefer that over the idea of coming physically, even though it does give, as we said before, a nachas ruach for the neshama, but not when it's on the cheshben of the lives and the health of the ones that stayed among us. Thank you.